Alrighty then. Today, I'm gonna do some more work on this fender. To do more work, I'm going to end up putting it back on this mold just to make sure it holds its shape. Now the work I'm planning to do, uh, or putting some more layers of fiberglass on it, tucking the wire in there a little better. Let's go ahead and put some parting paste back on it. So this says you should put it on in between every layer. Um, and I'm willing to bet this thing is slick. I'm willing to bet it'll still separate. I'm not even going to put the actual uh, PVA on it this time. I really don't think it needs it. I don't even know where the PVA went to right now. What the heck did I do with it? Oh, there it is. All right. So, buff, 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 buff. Slick enough for me. Time to buff the other side. Big it buff, 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 buff. Buff 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 it buff, 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 buff. This Rona's hitting me, I think. Now you probably should wait. But I am impatient, therefore I shall not. Uh, uh. So now let's let that dry for a few minutes. Let's go over here. So I want this to go back here. I know that. So I'm not too worried about it. But now let's get all these screws out of here. So we can get this fender off. Let's see if we can't get this out of here without moving the bike. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, now. I want these wires to hide up under here without there being a lump. So the majority of that lump gone. Now what we need to do is clean up the rest. Now hopefully, I'm not damaging these wires. We'll see though, won't we? <laughs> okay, now, to get them subterranean here, I'm gonna use this and carve a little channel for them where I want. Probably somewhere in this area. So there we go. They're not completely flush. But they're pretty decent. Now this is ready to get stuff over it. Now that I'm almost out of PVA, uh, let's call it. 
<laughs> All right, while the uh, stuff is drying over there, let's start cutting some new fiberglass. Uh -oh. Now for this, I can have a lot less waste this time because I already have a shape to go to. So let's say, uh, let's get it on here. Let's trace it and start cutting out. So I still want it to be bigger, so I still have excess. Fourteen. So this is dried now. It's been, I don't know, maybe an hour if even. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to set it back over it. Just so it's got a nice thing to hold it here. Oh, I'll be good for a nice nap after this, I think. Jeez. All right, let's lay some stuff. So first I want to get resin wet on here just like last time. Now I want it to be able to cover everything that I already have laid out here. All right, now let's let it cure up so we can cut it off, trim it, and sand it, and be done with the fiberglass. All right, so now I've laid up eight more plies on this side, eight on this side, and eight on the top. So now that should essentially double its thickness. So now I'll have 16 plies on each side, 16 on the top right in the center. But then right in here, it'll vary around 32 plies thick on these two spots where they overlap. Um, and that being said, in the middle here, it'll probably be somewhere around an eighth inch thick where it's the 32 plies. And maybe, you know, less than that here, obviously. Probably about half of that. This might be a little thicker than eighth inch too. We'll see when we cut it all apart. But either way, I'm thinking it'll be thick enough now where it should be stiff. You saw it was pretty flimsy before. Hopefully this should get rid of the, that so it doesn't vibrate when I'm riding around. And then you can see I reroute my wire. It originally came out over here. I routed it down and over here to come out. So now it'll be super smooth all through there and you won't see any wire. It'll just poke out right behind the fork. So that's it for today. See you next time.